The recent launch of the fourth gen of AMD EPIC 9004 server CPUs saw huge advances in many technology areas over the third gen. However, the two families are set to be available side by side for the foreseeable future. And this begs the question why? As is most often the case with technology launches, the older generation is superseded and then discontinued. In this video, we'll explain why AMD sees two different scenarios for the two CPU generations, addressing both cost effectiveness at one end and extreme performance at the other. We'll also look at each CPU range in detail, the use cases they're best suited for, and how SCAN provides custom-built servers from 3XS systems using Epic CPUs. Before we do though, make sure that you subscribe to the SCAN IT channel to ensure that you don't miss our upcoming videos. Now, the AMD 7003 CPU range is the third generation of Epic CPUs and it's based on the Zen 3 7 nanometer architecture. It boasts up to 64 cores per socket, 128 lanes of PCIe 4 for GPUs, smart NICs, DPUs and NVMe SSDs, and it supports up to 4 terabytes of 8-channel DDR4 memory. There are three main product lines within the range, the 7003P, the 7003 and the 7003 X series, designed to address everyday single socket, everyday dual socket and advanced dual socket workloads respectively. You can see that the L3 cache and TDPs vary with their intended uses. The latest 4th gen EPIC 9004 CPU range is based on the Zen 4 5 nanometer architecture and features up to 96 cores per socket, 128 lanes of PCIe 5 for GPUs, smart NICs, DPUs and NVMe SSDs and supports up to 6 terabytes of 12-channel DDR5 memory. Again, there are three main product lines within the range, the 9004P, the 9004 and the 9004F series, designed for single socket, dual socket and frequency sensitive dual socket workloads respectively. With the 9004 range, it's the core count, L3 cache and TDPs that vary with their intended uses. Now, whilst you'd expect gen-on-gen -gen increases in things such as the number of cores, it's factors such as PCIe 5 support and DDR5 memory that have a significant wider impact on how a server can be configured using them. 3XS systems have a pedigree of building award-winning servers, particularly around GPU-accelerated servers, and our team understands the demanding applications and workloads and are constantly working on new configurations based around either the AMD EPIC 7003 or 9004 CPUs. So let's have a closer look at some of the options available, focusing on specific workloads. For everyday workloads, the 7003 range includes an 8-core 155-watt TDP model, whereas the 9004 range begins at 16 cores and 200-watt TDP. So the former has an obvious advantage in terms of cost and power cost. Having said that though, all CPUs in both ranges feature 128 PCIe lanes, allowing for large amounts of connectivity within the server to components such as SSDs, RAID controllers and network cards. Even a relatively low-cost 1U3XS server featuring a single 7003P CPU could support up to 1TB memory and 5 SSDs alongside dual NICs, ideal for the majority of standard business applications. When it comes to GPU accelerated workloads such as 3D design, simulation, video production and rendering, the 7003 and 9004 CPUs offer a great range of options. Both flavours of EPIC have enough PCIe lanes to power four GPUs with a single CPU, saving upfront hardware costs, software licensing, plus ongoing power and cooling bills, versus competing Xeon platforms, which would require two CPUs to do the same job. A pair of EPIC processors can support up to eight GPUs and still have plenty of PCIe lanes left for significant NVMe SSD storage, which is often critical when working with large graphics or video files. And similarly, high bandwidth smart NICs can be integrated, giving optimal connectivity for data transfer of large projects, using the PCIe 4 version supported by 7003 CPUs may help keep costs down too. High performance computing, machine learning, deep learning and AI applications all place a huge demand on server hardware. 
Depending on the project, high CPU core counts, multiple large GPUs and powerful DPUs will all play parts in keeping data flowing at high speeds to maximize GPU utilization and minimize CPU latency in order to deliver results in the fastest possible times. It's this type of server that the most powerful 9004 CPUs are designed for, supporting 8 GPUs, terabytes of local NVMe storage, and multiple high-bandwidth DPU connections. The instruction set of EPIC 9004 CPUs has been expanded for these workloads too, adding in native support for AVX512 VNNI, standing for Vector Neural Network Instructions, and BFloat16, standing for Brain Floating Point 16-bit, to accelerate the most demanding compute workloads. 3XS servers for HPC and AI can also be configured to support liquid cooling, a feature becoming more and more necessary as the TDPs of both CPUs and GPUs increase. Using Epic CPUs for delivering cloud services such as vGPU and VDI is ideal as the 7003 and 9004 processors have a huge amount of I.O. capacity, such as 128 PCIe lanes for multiple GPUs, ample storage to support virtual users and high-speed network connections. The more cost-effective 7003 CPUs support up to 200 gigabit connections over PCIe 4, whilst the newer 9004 CPUs support 400 gigabit connections over PCIe 5. Additionally, the 9004 family takes system memory to 6 terabytes and includes support for CXL, which is Compute Express Link, an open standard for CPU to CPU and CPU to memory connections using the same physical slots as the PCIe. This provides two CXL compatible memory modes, memory expansion to boost bandwidth and capacity, or memory pooling. Don't forget the ScanIT team can also provide licenses, configuration and installation of your 3XS AMD EPIC servers and virtual infrastructure to provide a wide range of NVIDIA vGPU solutions. When it comes to storage servers, there are two main considerations, either capacity within simple storage servers or intelligence in software-defined storage servers. For basic capacity, the extensive I.O. within EPIC 7003 and 9004 CPUs allows for huge amounts of HDDs or SSDs, making the lower core count CPUs very attractive when looking for multiple storage server appliances to scale. Conversely, for SDS use cases, these PCIe connections can be shared amongst high-performance NVMe SSDs and DPUs, accelerator cards that offload storage and management-related tasks away from the CPU to decrease latency and increase performance. Furthermore, the EPIC 9004 CPU family supports PCIe 5, allowing for network and DPU connection speeds of up to 400 gigabit. So if a tiered storage environment is supporting a large number of users, then this could be a distinct advantage. So there we have it. Hopefully you're a little clearer now on which of the many AMD EPIC CPUs are best for your particular workload. As an AMD EPIC Elite partner, SCAN provides custom-built 3XS system servers for all of these workloads and more. To start your journey, visit our online server configurators linked in the description below. Our intuitive configurators are designed to help you specify the best options for your servers from every component right through to RAID configurations and software installation, either Windows Server 2022 or Linux. All of our servers also include a three-year premium warranty as standard, and we can even provide supported pricing on AMD Epic solutions for academic and education customers. Now, if you're still unsure of the ideal server spec, then the SCAN IT team is on hand to discuss your requirements or challenges, and you'll find our contact details in the description below. Or alternatively, leave a comment on YouTube and we'll be back in touch with you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.